All right, so this is my update video on the Dell 4021QW, the curved ultra-wide 5K by 2K monitor. All right, here's my setup for my desk with my vertical monitor for grading, my right-hand monitor for Zoom and OBS, my camera where it normally sits, keyboard, my upper monitor for auxiliary sort of applications, and then my Dell 4021QW monitor, 5K by 2K. This is my setup. All right, so the first thing I wanna start off with actually is the brightness. Now the brightness has a lot of room. So I have it at about 30% right now. Um, that's just my preference. I don't like my monitors blowing up my face when I'm recording. Also, um, you know, uh, too much brightness on the eyes is bad, right? But if you like your monitors bright, you have a lot of room with this monitor to get it exceptionally bright. Um, along those lines too, with like colors per se, um, here I just have this picture in the background, uh, you know, it's it's on point. Like this, the, the colors in this monitor match better than any other monitor that I have set up right here. Um, and I think along, the, like the reason why that it's so good is because the the pixel density is exceptional, right? The 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 use in 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 OBS, um, you know, uh, watching the feedback live and say editing. One of the things that I really like about editing is that I can edit a 4K video and not have to worry about detaching my panes in the left and right right hand side, but still look at everything relatively large. And then you know edit and and adjust things as needed, uh, you know. For for you know when using 4K right when using 5K by 2K so with 4K I would be cut off here on the left and the right hand side limiting some of my use of the screen but with the 5K 2K it it allows me um, that more real estate so I can use these panels same thing with DaVinci Resolve I have way more room um, you know on the left hand right hand side of my monitor to just edit. Uh, you know the the video that's in the main frame so that's that's really convenient as far as zoom goes and practices for school and teaching students online and then holding the routine you know work webinars and work zoom sessions uh, you know again the real estate pays dividends I have more room to keep more things up to find more information quicker and sooner and just to look like a rock star when I'm on zoom meetings or um in webinars and presentations and whatnot the one tricky thing here though is that because it is a 5k by 2k you'll you'll either have to share a portion of your screen so like the left hand side of your screen won't be showing so you have to right align that using dell display manager which i definitely recommend you to get you can pre-portion the screen to just 4k by 2k um, or for you know in 4k native and then have two additional like smaller monitors on the left hand side and just share those so that's pretty nice now as far as software goes i just wanted to load up solidworks real quick and this was one of the things that actually scared me the most is like okay what's going to happen with the main piece of software that i use almost every day solidworks cad cad tool cad design simulation rendering the whole nine yards and all i had to do was change the icon size but what you'll know, what, like what you can see is like all the text and everything comes in super crisp and super clear. The model topology also comes in super crisp and super clear. And if it's a like really curved object, I don't get those little pixelated corners. I, I don't get the little pixelated corners where, where the, where, you know, we know it's a nice smooth surface, but then I kind of see the jaggedness of the pixels, not representing how smooth and continuous that surface is. So all in all, for my use day in and day out between teaching online, like doing Zoom meetings, using multiple types of editing software and designing software, uh, you know, the the 40 inch is super convenient. Uh, the curved the curved aspect of it makes sure that I see um, a rectangular monitor despite its width. From my perspective, everything looks, you know, flat. And rectangular but from from this little short clip that you're gonna see right now now one of the things that I wanted to share was that the, even though this monitor is curved from the viewers perspective it appears extremely flat which I think is really cool let's get another point of view from the side 
where we can see just how curved it is. You're going to see that this, there's quite some curvature to this monitor and again just makes it even better for that viewing experience. So if you're looking to purchase one of these and using this day in and day out for both work and personal you know, personal videos, editing, YouTubing, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, it is, it is a godsend. So, uh, hopefully this helps you make your decision. My name is Adam Hughes. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I can't thank you enough for watching this all the way through and thank you for supporting my channel. We'll see you next time. Fight on.